We have not had a hurricane or tropical storm make landfall in the U.S. since October 9th, 2024, and for the first time in basically a year, we're actually talking about a system that is expected to make landfall. Not one, but two areas of convection in the Atlantic are going to near the U.S. over the next coming week, and one of those is going to be a major hurricane, although the picture is a little bit more complex than usual. Taking a look at the Atlantic Ocean on our National Hurricane Center outlook right now, we can see that there's actually a lot of activity with three different areas currently being on the map. One of these is currently Tropical Storm Umberto, which is just barely a tropical storm, but is expected to become a major hurricane sometime over the next four or five days. Another one is just an invest we have closer to Puerto Rico, and then we also have this tropical storm that we're not even going to talk about because it's all the way out of the picture. First off, we're going to talk about our tropical storm. This is Tropical Storm Umberto. It has maximum wind speeds of 50 knots with a minimum central pressure of 1,000 millibars. This storm is currently a tropical storm, but will be a hurricane by 2 a.m. on Saturday. Now, the most interesting thing about this storm isn't actually where it's going to go. It's how it's going to impact the picture for the rest of the Atlantic Ocean. The main thing that we have our eyes on is this Invest 94L right now. This is Disturbance 1, as noted by the National Hurricane Center, and this is what is forecast to make land fall in the United States on our spaghetti models right now. Because this system is smaller and it's off to the west of our other hurricane, there will be an interaction between these two hurricanes and it's making this forecast very, very tricky. A lot of you have probably heard of the Fujiwara effect and that is basically where we have two rotating mass that then start to rotate around each other due to the forces of Mother Nature. It's very hard to predict exactly what these forces are going to do and where they're going to send either of these storms and that is currently one thing that our models are struggling with right now. A lot a lot of times we hear people talk about the windshield wiper effect when we come to hurricanes we sort of see that eye path drift back and forth over days and days of time well it's going to be even more substantiated with this forecast it's going to be more like an nfl lineman we're going to see one system here try and block the other one they're not going to be friends and they're just going to fight for the same area and one of those systems may be thrown off towards the united states However, that is 100% not a bad thing whatsoever. When we see two hurricanes fight over basically the same area of energy, we're going to end up with two weaker storms instead of one stronger storm. The Atlantic right now is very, very warm and is very, very favorable for tropical development, and that's why we're seeing two storms to begin with. If we are anywhere on the East Coast, we should be very happy that this is what's happening, and it does mean that we're not going to see probably any major hurricanes make landfall, and instead we'll be talking about that tropical storm to Category 1, maybe low-end Category 2 level. In terms of who's going to to see this tropical storm or hurricane make landfall we really don't know at this point but let's talk about what models are showing right now the first thing i'm going to show is this snippet from the euro last night this is showing where it thinks the center of low pressure from either of these storms will end up we can see that this is absolutely all over the place there are literally balls of energy being thrown out every which direction in every single part of the atlantic ocean that is the model inconsistency that we are talking about however there are still some spaghetti plots that may show a clearer picture of this taking a look at said models it does does look like the best guess of where this system would make landfall right now is somewhere in the area of the Carolinas. If you're in the Carolinas, we should probably start preparing for the storm now. It will be bringing strong winds and flash flooding and flooding conditions as well, so it is something to keep an eye out for. If this storm does deviate, I would imagine that it is going to be pulled off further to the east, which means we may be looking at no landfall at all, but there still will be impacts from the storm on the east coast in the same areas that we just talked about. Unfortunately, until it's about 24 to 48 hours from the system making landfall, we're not really going to know much more about what's going to happen. That being said, there will be another video covering those impacts when we do get closer to that time period, but until then, that's really all there is to talk about in the world of weather. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and like the video while you're down there. Also, if you are in the path of this, comment where you're watching from so we can talk about your area more in depth in the next video. Alright guys, that's all I have for now. Until next time, goodbye.